more severe arthritis in the elbow is treated with a total elbow replacement, which is a fairly uncommon surgery, um, but common in my practice. Uh, indications for total elbow replacement are severe arthritis and also bad fractures. If somebody falls on their elbow and, and uh, fractures it in a way that there's multiple pieces, really can't be rebuilt, then we also give them a new elbow. So the implant looks like this. It has, it's a hinged implant with stems. One stem goes into the ulna bone, which is the bone down here, and the other stem goes into the humerus bone, which is the bone up here. And then it allows you to move your elbow. Total elbow arthroplasty is a good procedure for pain relief, but it does have limitations. We don't allow these patients to lift anything heavier than five pounds for life because we have found that the longevity of these implants are affected by weight bearing on them too much. So ideally, the total elbow replacement is reserved for the more elderly patient who's gonna have limited physical demand. And then I counsel those patients fairly extensively before we go in and do this procedure that if let's say we do the total elbow replacement on their left arm, the left arm is going to be primarily for mobility and to use for simple things like holding your cell phone or driving a car. But for heavy lifting, you'll use your other arm. So that's something that we counsel the patients about um, before we consider doing a total elbow replacement. Um, it is a procedure that can be done on an outpatient basis. Sometimes patients spend the night in the hospital. Uh, it does require splinting for a few weeks and then loss of physical therapy. Uh, and I found patients finish physical therapy within a three to six month time frame and are back to generally fairly normal um, active lifestyle.